I love organizing all of my prompts within this beautiful sidebar on ChatGPT. Said no one ever. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I use this clean Notion workspace in order to organize all of my prompts, take notes regarding those prompts, and I'm also going to show you how all of these elements come together into folders so I can easily sort and view these prompts and notes. So this is my prompts hub that I use for ChatGPT or anytime that I have a prompt for any sort of chatbot. Over on the left here, as you can see, right off the bat, I have a quick way to add new prompts. So if I ever have to add a new prompt, I can just hit this add new prompt button and I can name this prompt to make this even more custom. So I can name it anything I want. And then beneath that, I can favorite it. So it's on the forefront of my homepage. And then I can paste in the prompt that I like. So the prompt goes here. And then after that, I have the ability to put it into a folder so I can easily search it and so I can see all of the prompts I have related to a specific category. So I can choose any one of the folders that I've created in order for this prompt to be put in. So for example, I could put this prompt in the general folder. I can even add more than one folder if this prompt can relate to more than one thing by hitting link another page and then clicking another category. So now when I search in my folders database for either YouTube or general, what will come up is this prompt that I put within these folders. Better yet, if I want to have a conversation with a chatbot and I don't want to save it in the chat GPT history and I want to save it somewhere else where it will not delete after 30 days and that I can remember it in a nice clean dashboard, what I can do is I can select papers and I can create a new page. And what this will allow me to do is create a page or a project or even a note based on this prompt. So I can click into this and now I have an open canvas for writing notes. And within this note, again, I can link it to a folder. So as you saw earlier, I linked that prompt to YouTube in general. So I can also link this folder to YouTube in general. That way, when I go search the folders, I'll have all my papers and prompts that are related to that folder within there. If you would like to purchase this Notion workspace at any point in this video to use it for yourself so you can get better organized with your ChatGPT prompts and notes, what you can do is go to the link in the description or the top pinned comment. That will take you to this landing page where you can kind of view the workflow a little bit deeper and also where you can purchase this template. And if you want to, you can go to my AI Marketplace store to check out what else I have to offer. Now let me get back into showing you my workflow so you can either build this for yourself or learn how to better organize your ChatGPT prompts. So as I was showing you earlier, you have the ability to add new prompts here and then you can kind of go through that workflow of when I add a new prompt, I can put it in a folder, but I can also add a new paper related to that prompt once I'm adding that prompt. You can also just add papers. You don't have to go through the entire process of creating a prompt. Let's say you just wanna take a note. What you can do is hit add new paper and you can start your note here by giving it the title. So this would be the title of your note. And then if you want to, you can add it to a folder so you can easily find it. You can add prompts that are related to this note or project or whatever you're starting in here. And then in here, you could maybe start a to-do list. If you have a project that you're working on, you can do that by typing slash two dash do and then selecting that. Or you can just hit these two brackets and hit space and it will make a to-do list item. All right, so you can check these off. That's one way that you could use these um, papers as, as a project manager in a way. So you can kind of go in here, develop a task list and really get going on that. Or you can just go in here and start typing out some notes. So instead of using chat GPT and relying on that chat history, what I'm going to start doing is copying and pasting in the important prompts that I have. And what I'm going to do is I'm either going to screenshot those conversations or I'm going to copy and paste them into here. And then I'm going to give the prompt, the most important prompt that I have related to that, that I used in order to get that result. Next, there is the folders category. So anytime you have a big broad section or something new that you want to add to your database, it's important that you add a folder that way you can organize them accordingly. If we scroll down, as you can see, this is my filing cabinet currently. I have a general folder that is provided with the template just so anybody can get used to adding a folder or having a folder. I think the general folder is a great folder to have because sometimes you can just put stuff in there that you don't really know what to do with. I also have a YouTube folder where I can put some of my YouTube growth prompts and I can also put some of my email drafts if I'm working on a sponsorship. And I have a bunch of other folders here. If I click on my web design folder, as you can see, I even have a paper 
that goes with this. And I'm planning on having tens, if not hundreds of papers in each category. So this is going to be a big note taking system and it's going to correspond with ChatGPT. So if I'm ever in ChatGPT, I'm also going to be in this workspace. You can add a new folder just like adding a prompt or a paper. So I can hit add new folder. I can give this folder a general name. So let's say I wanna make a folder for songs. Maybe I like playing the ukulele here. You know, I've got my ukulele here. I like playing some songs. So maybe I want a folder for ChatGPT generated songs and the prompts that it gives me. And maybe I can generate my songs on a paper. When I do generate folders, I do think it's very important to add a nice icon and a cover photo. So I like adding the cover photo first and hitting change cover, unsplash. And then I'll type in something like ukulele. And then I can find a nice stock image of a ukulele. I kind of like this one in the sunset. So I'm going to select that. And now I can add an icon. So I'm going to go over to icons, maybe type in guitar. And I think this acoustic guitar looks enough like a ukulele. I'm going to favorite this folder so I can easily search it and then I can have it favorited that way. And for now, I don't have any papers and prompts attached to this folder, but I just wanted to create it ahead of time for when I make songs with ChatGPT for the ukulele. And I can also paste in the prompts that I got in order to generate that song. So I'm just going to click into some empty space. And when I scroll down, you'll see now that I have this song section for ukulele. Next, what I can do is just quickly reposition my image just so I can see more of the subject within that image, hit save position. And that is the process when it comes to creating a new folder. Now, if I wanna view all of my databases, I do have them on the forefront here in these little call out sections. So I can see all of my prompts, I can hit favorites. And this way I can just quickly copy and paste them whenever I need them into chat GPT once again. So I plan on having hundreds of prompts in here. I've just gotten started using this and I wanted to share this with you because I just love the workflow so much and I think it can help you in your workflow. So as I was saying earlier, what you can do is you can view your prompts here, you know, you can view all of your folders here. And if you wanna view your papers, what you have to do is hit open papers database and that will give you a nice little list archive of all of your notes, projects, and papers. You can go back to home and you can also open up your full view of your prompts database. So these are prompts sorted by folders. So if you had 25 folders in here with 100 prompts in each, then there would be 25 of these rows here and the count all button would say however many prompts you had in there. So if in content creation, for example, I end up putting in all my 100 content creation prompts, then I would have 101 content creation prompts. You can open these up and you have the ability to favorite them in here. You can see what folder they have. You can see all the papers attached to that certain prompt. And I can just keep opening these up. And as you can see, it's a great way to organize all my stuff and a clean, nice UI. I can go back to home and I can do the same thing with my folders database. So if I wanna see a full scale view of all my folders, I wanna quickly find something and I don't wanna be on my homepage looking through all of these. What I can do is I can open my folders database and this gives me a nice full screen view of all of my folders. So let's say I had some sales meetings coming up and I wanted to get touched up on some of my scripts and I have prompts that help me do that. What I could do is I can click in sales and then I can see my prompt related to sales. So if I need this sales script for the sales meeting, I could click on sales script and now I have the prompt right here where I can just copy and paste it into ChatGPT in order to generate a sales script for my upcoming meeting. Now I'm going to show you my complete workflow from finding a prompt to creating something in ChatGPT, creating a folder for it, you know, creating a paper related to that prompt and how I go about this now. So if you remember this songs folder that I actually created earlier, um, what I'm going to do is use a prompt and from that prompt, I want it to generate me ukulele songs. So I'm going to make the prompt once, put it in my prompt database, and after I have it in my prompts database, that's all I'll need. So I can just go back whenever I want a new song and I can copy that, paste it into ChatGPT, and then I can generate ukulele songs. And those songs I can copy and paste and add as new papers within the folder. So that might sound confusing right now, but when it all ties together, it makes a lot of sense and you will see how this works. So first I'm going to open up ChatGPT. And now that I have ChatGPT open, what I did was I typed out this prompt in about 15 seconds. I have create a ukulele song with chords that is and in parentheses here or these brackets, I have length of song and it's based on topics. So that way, now that I have this base prompt, 
what I can do is I can put that within my Notion database. And when it's in my Notion database, all I have to do is copy and paste it into ChatGPT and then just replace the bracketed information. So I like making these prompts templates or formulas. That way I can quickly utilize them for a different use case whenever I need them. So what I'm firstly going to do is I'm going to take this, I'm going to hit Control C, I'm going to go over to my prompts hub, and I'm going to hit add new prompt. Now, what I'm going to do for the title is just type in ukulele song generator. Okay, now I have this ukulele song generator prompt and under where it says the prompt, I'm going to paste in that prompt. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to favorite this because let's just say I like making ukulele songs, excuse me. And now what we can do is we can open up the proper folders database where I want this prompt to be stored. So I'm going to click into my folders database. And from earlier, as you know, we created the songs folder. So I'm going to put this in my songs folder. That way, if I end up getting a ton of prompts and I just wanna find my ukulele song generator, I can just go to my songs folder and then find it from there because within each folder, there's going to be a lot less prompts than if you just open up your entire prompts database. And now that I have this in here, I'm all set, I'm good to go. I don't need any papers in here right now because I haven't generated the song. But once I generate the song, I will create a new paper. For now, I'm just going to click off into some empty space, head back over to ChatGPT and figure out what do I want the song about and how long do I want the song to be. First, I'm going to do the length of song as 30 seconds. And we just want this to be a quick little ukulele song. We don't want much. Uh, we just wanna have some fun with it, you know, get some chords, make an original song based on, and I'm just going to say, love on the beach. You know, very cliche ukulele type song, a little bit of a stereotype for the ukulele players. So now I'm going to send off this prompt and it's going to generate me a song. And so what I can do next is I can just copy and paste this into my Notion. But where do I put the song once I have it? Well, that's what the papers are for, you know? You can do notes, projects, or anything that you rely on the sidebar for. So I'm going to hit add new paper. I'm going to give this song a name. So I'm just gonna call this Love on the Beach. Or what I could actually do is I can go over to ChatGPT and I can say, give this song a name, send it off. And it's going to say Moonlight Love on the Shore. And I like that. So I'm going to copy that instead, paste it. And now that I've copy and pasted that, I do not have my ukulele song copy and pasted. So I'm going to copy and paste this into the body here. And now I have this entire ukulele song pasted in the body. I'm going to go over to my folders and select my songs folder. And I can also now go to my prompts and find what prompt I used for this. So if I end up getting a ton of prompts in here and it's filling up the entire page, what I can do is search for the prompt I created by typing in and searching for that prompt. So now I can hit ukulele song generator and that's the prompt I used in order to get Moonlight Love on the Shore. If I want to, I can add a little icon. Maybe I want to add a moon, make it aesthetic. And now we have this entire song in our papers. Now we can just click off. And yeah, that's kind of how I would go about creating a prompt, a paper, and a folder all in one. So now I can open up my papers database. And as you can see, we have Moonlight Love on the Shore up top here. So this has been how I am going to continue organizing all of my ChatGPT prompts and my notes because let's face it, the ChatGPT sidebar isn't getting it done and you need a workspace in order to A, get all of your prompts organized so that when you do have a prompt that you like, you have a nice spot to store it rather than just shoving it in a Google Doc somewhere that you're going to forget about or leaving it in the sidebar to get deleted after 30 days. And also, you want a spot to store all of your information so that you can make your prompts a lot better, you can improve on them, and you can kind of build out projects and notes within Notion. Once again, if you do want to purchase this, I will leave a link in the top pinned comment or the description below. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know in the comments, and I will see you in the next video.